Assalamualaikum and hi to everyone. Thank you for watching this video. So in this video, we continue on chapter 4 regarding the thread. Okay, we already discussed a bit uh, about the thread in chapter 2. So we look more on chapter 4 regarding the thread and the issues. <clears throat> okay. So in chapter 4, there are two main subtopics sub that uh, we will go through. The first part is about the market trading model and the trading issues. So only two parts. So market trading and trading issues. So we look at the first part first. Okay, the objective for this chapter to introduce the notion of trade, a fundamental unit of a CPU utilization that form the basis of multi-traded computer system so what uh, uh we learn about the trade what is the thread of the uh, operating system okay so the thread is uh, what is this thread thread is the flow uh, is the flow a flow of execution process okay within a process so that is the thread the, the flow of execution through the process code a thread is that part so if we talk about the multi-thread so we have multiple flow of execution through a, a process so the objective for this chapter to introduce you with the notion of the trade and then we will discuss about the apis for the between in windows and the java trade libraries the libraries for the java and then to explore the first the strategies that provide that implicit the trading as a mean the issues related to the multi-traded programming and to cover operating system support for trade in windows and linux okay trade in the windows and the linux os okay so motivation of the trade First, about the most modern application are multi threaded and then thread run within the application so these are the factors that motivate on the implementation of multi threading so multiple tasks with the application can be implemented by separate threads okay thread is the set uh, a flow of execution of process so we have the update display fetch the data and then spell checking answer the network request so these are the tasks and process creation is heavyweight while trade creation is lightweight I mean if we use the train uh, we use less resources compared to the process okay and can simplify the code and increase the efficiency of the uh, OS of the system. And kernels are generally multi traded. So uh, there are several factors that lead to the uh, multi traded the use of the trade. Okay, now we go for the multi trading. So multi traded server architecture, we have the client we have the server and then we have the thread so client make a request to the server so server create a new thread to service that request okay. and then uh, server resume listening for additional requests so these are the architecture for multi-threaded we have client and we have the server client make a request to server server will create new thread to serve the request from the client okay when client make a request server will create a new thread so this thread the purpose of this thread is to service what are the client being requested okay and then the server will resume listening for additional client requests means that server will uh, be ready and just listen is there any client that want another service or another request 
So the server will serve the client by creating the new trait. So these are the architecture. Okay, benefit of uh, this multi trading. Benefit or the advantages of the trade. Okay, we can minimize minimize the switching time. Okay, it's a benefit in terms of the responsiveness may allow continued execution if part of the process is blocked. So especially important for the user interfaces. So more responsiveness, uh, more faster to uh, serve. So it allow continue execution even the block the process is blocked okay and then resource sharing trade our resources of process so easier than the shared memory or message passing okay the previous chapter we already uh discussed about the shared memory and message passing so uh this one is about the trade okay you can compare what is the trade shared memory and message passing so in terms of the economy is more cheaper than the process creation because thread switching lower overheat and context switching than the context switching so more cheaper compared to create an, a one process okay and then in terms of scalability Process can take advantage of multiprocessor architecture. Okay, based on the multiprocessor architecture that have been used in the CPU, so we can uh, take this advantage in order to create a trait. <coughs> Next, multi core and multiprocessor system putting the pressure on the programmers. Uh, so the challenge are uh, including dividing the activities, balance, data splitting, data dependency, testing and debugging process. So parallelism implies the system can perform more than one task simultaneously and concurrency support more than one task making progress in a single process core scheduler providing concurrency so this one is more based on the multi-core programming okay, or multi-processor system a type of parallelism it's not easy to pronounce that part okay uh, we have two the first one is data and the second one is task. So when we talk about the data, it's distribute a subset of the same data across multiple cores and same operation on each. Okay, how about the task? Okay, for the task, it will distribute the trades across the cores. So each trade will perform a unique operation. So as the number of trades grows, so the, the architecture support the trading. So now CPU have the core as well as the hardware trades. And consider Oracle's part T4 with 8 cores and 8 hardware trades per core. Okay, because most of the uh, system required trade. So the hardware and the architecture also come with a uh, trait supportive waters. It sub also support the uh, trait. So easy for implement the trait in the programming part. Okay, this one is concurrency versus parallelism. Parallelism. Uh, Okay, concurrent execution on the single core system. We have the single core. So, T refer to the time. Time 1, time 2, time 3. So, if we have a single core, so it must be after 1, and then 2, and then 3, and then 4, and then 1 is again. 2, 3, 4, once again until the end. Okay. 
if we have parallelism on a multi core system, so we have core one and another core two. So we can run T1, T2, T3, and T4 in a faster time compare if we only have a single core. Okay. As the analogy, uh, let's say you use a uh, road at Jalan Serimanapai. Okay, we only have a single lane, single lane for one way. Single lane, single lane. Okay, compared to the highway, then we have triple lane. So which one is faster? Uh, which one is faster if we have a single lane compared to we have a triple lane compared uh, the normal road and the hardware so you can imagine how it work, works when we talk about the concurrent execution on the single core system and the parallelism on the multi-core system so based on the diagram, you can say that uh, the parallelism uh, give you speed, okay, faster the, speed up the, the the process. Okay, what is the traits and what is the process? Okay, traits differ from the traditional multitasking operating system processes. Okay, processes are typically independent. Okay. Trait exists as a subset of the process. I mean trait inside the process. Process is the bigger one. It's more independent. And then in a process, we have to trait. And process carry considerably more state information than trait. Whereas multiple trait within a process share the process state as well as the memory and other resources. Okay. Processes have a separate address space. Trade share their address space. Process have their own address space, but share a uh, trade will share their address space with the process. A process interact only through the system that provided inter process communication mechanism IPC. Recall back chapter three. Okay. Process interact only through the system provided, which refer to the IPC mechanism. Context switching between trade in the same process is typically faster than context switching between the process. Okay. So, a little bit you can get uh, the ideas, uh, the process compared to the Uh, process uh, is more heavy uh, because uh, it uses more resources. Uh, if we talk about trade, trade is light. Okay, it uh, taking only lesser resources compared to the process. Okay, in term of the the weight, okay, the light. The okay, process is a uh, process switching need the interaction with the operating system while in the trade switching it does not need uh, to interact with the os uh, okay. uh, if we talk about the multiple processing environment so each process will execute the same code but has its own memory and file resources multiple processing okay. in a trade we can share the same set of open files and child processes I mean we share we share the resources in a process uh, if the process is blocked okay means that no other process can execute until the first process is 
unblock. Okay. If one process is blocked, there is no other processes can be executed during that time until the first process is unblocked. Okay. If we talk about the train, if one train is blocked and waiting okay, for something, so a second train in the same task can run. We can run or execute this, the second train. So that is the difference between the process and the train. Uh, in multiple process that do not use the train, use more resources. In multi traded processes, it will use fewer resources compared to the multi processing. So, multiple processes uh, operate independently. Okay. Uh, one trade can read, write, or change another trade's data. The processes it work independently but not to the thread okay the next part <coughs> okay the diagram show use the difference between the single versus the multi-traded process okay this one is single traded okay and then this one is multi-traded. So based on this part, okay, you can imagine that this one is more faster to execute some tasks compared to this one. Okay, in multi-trading, uh, multi-traded multi-trading is mainly found in the multitasking operating system okay we have multitask then we have multi-trade so multi-trade is widespread programming and execution model that allowed multiple trades to exist within context of one process okay in multi-trading means that we have one process so we can have multiple trades so we call multi-trading Okay, this thread share the processes resources. Okay, as I mentioned before, it share the it share the process resources, but able to execute independently means the process of execution do not, do not depends on the processes. It can execute independently, but say share the same resources. The traded uh, programming model provide developers with a usable abstraction of concurrent execution. Multi trading can also be applied to one process to enable parallel execution on a multi processing. And multi traded application have the following advantages okay, in terms of the responsiveness, faster execution, lower resources consumption, and better system utilization as the previous part okay in terms of the responsive the faster of execution uh the lower resources okay, because it's light and use few resources compared to the process so it's have uh it provide the better utilization of the system Okay, user trades and the kernel trade. Okay, we have two types of trade. First is user, and the second one is the kernel. So, user trades management done by the user level. So, user manage the trades. Okay, uh, in this part, there are three primary trade libraries: OSIC, Ptrade, Windows Trade, and the Java so the, the api okay the libraries okay, for kernel trade it's supported by the kernel means supported by the operating system so operating system is the one who manage the trade 
User threads mean user manage the thread. Kernel thread means the OS manage the threads. So examples here, visually all general purpose of operating system, including the Windows, Solaris, Linux, uh, 264 Unix, and Mac OS X. Okay, this one is based on the OS itself. This one is based on the users. So it use the API. <clears throat> okay, this one is the difference differentiate or oh, the difference between the user level thread and the kernel level thread. Okay, in the user level thread, thread switching does not require the kernel mode privilege. Okay, does not require the OS mode privilege. And then uh, the user level thread can run on any operating system based on the libraries the scheduling can be uh, can be application specific in the user level thread and user level thread are fast to create and manage okay for the kernel thread kernel thread are generally slower compared to the user level thread okay. it's slow to create and manage than the user thread the process of create uh, the kernel thread and manage it are uh, slower and it transfer of control from one thread to another within the same process so in that purpose it's require a mode switch to the kernel okay compared to this one this one does not require but in the kernel mode it is required to have the mode switch to the kernel privilege okay so that's are the uh, comparison between the uh, level thread and the kernel thread so you should know that we have the kernel thread we have the uh, user thread we have the single thread we have the multi-thread multitasking processing uh what what are the things that you should know in this uh part this subtopic you should know what is the multi-thread what the difference between multi-thread and the multitasking okay what the difference between multi-thread and multitasking what the difference between the thread and the processes okay the the advantages of the thread and multi-threading uh, what is the concurrent uh, concurrency and the parallelism concurrency and parallelism parallelism okay and the motivation of that lead to the trade creation so that's all for this subtopic hopefully everyone have get some ideas on what is the multi-trading so that's all thank you and assalamualaikum